Hello, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about very important concept that is belongs to thermal properties of matter short answer questions. From this chapter only few answers are there from that uh, compulsory one answer is coming in final exams but it's very very easy topic okay when we are understanding this it's very easy it takes only few minutes to learn this one our first short answer from this question from this chapter is the what is the centigrade scale and what is a fawn heat scale and what is the relation between them all these three belongs to one question only don't confuse here the question is what is centigrade, what is fawn heat scales and what is the relation between them. Centigrade scale, fawn heat scale, whatever the scale we require two things. One is a lower fixed point that is a melting point of ice and another one is a boiling point of water. Based on that we have, we are, they, are, they have taken lower and upper fixed point. So when you are going through the Celsius scale or centigrade scale, lower fixed point is the 0 degree centigrade upper fixed point is the 100 degree centigrade. So here total how many divisions are there 100 each one is carries 1 degree centigrade. Then we can go to, through the foreign heat scale. See lower fixed point is the 32 degree foreign heat and upper fixed point is the 212 degree foreign heat and the difference is the 180 degree foreign heat. Each one carries 1 degree foreign heat. But how to find out the relation between them? For finding the temperature, we know the common formula that is the centigrade scale. Whatever the scale, if you are taking form heat scale, form heat scale. Minus lower fixed point is how much? 0 by number of divisions 100. Equals to form heat scale minus lower fixed point is the 32 divided by 180. After simplifications, we are getting C by 5 equals to F minus 32 by 9. It should be right C equals to 5 by 9 times of this F minus 32. This is the relation between centigrade scale and form heat scale. Then our next short answer question. If we are taking two metals, one is the copper and another one is the steel. That is called the bimetallic strip. We are taking two metals are riveted together means this is the copper this is the copper and this is the steel when we are heating this bimetallic strip what happens the question is this only very simple see the linear coefficient of expansion is more for copper comparing alpha c is greater than alpha steel coefficient of linear expansion is more for copper comparing with this steel. So when we are heating, what happens? Which material is expanding more? Copper is expanding more. So we can get it like this. Upper side, lower side we are getting the steel. Upper uh, concave side we are getting the copper. When we are lowering the temperature, when we are cooling this one, which material we can observe that more contrast copper at the time when cooling of this one or decreasing the temperature we can observe like this. Contraction we should observe more for the copper comparing with this steel. So this is about this answer you can write it 2-3 points also you will get the marks. Then our third short answer is why pendulum clocks pendulum of the clocks will go fast in winter. Winter and summer, what is the difference? Temperature difference is there. What is the time period of the pendulum? T equals to 2 pi into under root L by G. Can you say the relation between time period and length? T is directly proportional to under root length. From this what we are understanding? When length is increasing, time period is increasing. Like that when length is decreasing, time period is decreasing. What is the time period? The time taken for one oscillation or the time taken for one rotation is called the time period. See, in summer, in summer, what happens? Length of the pendulum is increases. Why length is increases? Due to the increasing of the temperature. When length is increases, time period is also increases. T is also increases. So then what happens in summer? When length is increases, Time period is what happens, it will go slow. 
okay so more time period it is taking like that in winter what happens same condition but in winter l is decreasing so t is also decreases then what happens that pendulum clock will go fast because time period is less in winter then our next short answer is very interesting i have given uh, one experiment also anomalous behavior of the water during the in winter also in cold countries aquatic animals can able to survive why generally when we are increasing the temperature what happens volume is increasing density is decreasing but in the case of pure water see anomalous behavior of water anomalous behavior of water look this is one lake we should uh, take different layers like this 0 to 4 degree centigrade what happens density increases only for water not for all then for 4 degrees it is having more density comparing with 0 degree centigrade but only for this particular clear case we should observe in the case of pure water see entire atmosphere is a 4 degree centigrade now this water is 4 degree centigrade 4 degree centigrade 4 degree centigrade 4 degree centigrade then outside it becomes to 3 degree centigrade then what happens it becomes to 3 it becomes to 3 it becomes to 3 but it is 4 degree centigrade only why density of 4 degree centigrade water is more than 3 so whenever this 4 degree centigrade what happens it is down only why the density is more and less volume is there so entire is a 340 3 degree centigrade then outside it is 2 then what happens this is 2 and this is 2 this is 3 only why 3 degree centigrade density is more comparing with the 2 then outside it is 1 degree centigrade this is the 1 degree centigrade and outside this is the 0 degree centigrade so outside it is like warm, like ice and inside water is there because of the anomalous behavior of the water because of that reason only aquatic animals can able to survive during the winter season also especially where in cold countries then our uh, last question is and this is also i have done one experiment how many methods are there to transfer the heat there are three methods conduction convection and radiation conduction means with the vibrating particles with no movement of the particles even though heat is flowing from when you are giving the file here look conduction means when we are giving the file here to this rod heat is flowing from a to b through the vibrating particles this particle is not moving from here to here all particles are vibrating because of that reason heat is flowing from a to b this type of transformation of heat is called what conduction then second one is the convection like we are taking water and we should give the fire like this then what happens whenever heat taking by these molecules this water molecules less density is going up cool water is coming down why more density like that because of the movement of the particles heat is transferring this is called the convection third one is the radiation even there is no matter also it can able to transfer from one place to the another place that is called the radiation sunlight is coming from sun to the earth even there is no atmosphere between the earth and sun that type of flow of heat is called the radiation thank you everyone please subscribe my channel and one more thing i want to mention that for telangana state they have deleted first short answer conduction convection remaining three are there for ap board all five are there so read properly this is very easy and simple chapter and one of the answer we are 100% expected for for both the boards thank you